Today we will learn more about plant life. How are new plants produced? We see a lot of plant life around us. Where all do we see these plants? We see them in the vegetable gardens, parks, farms and in the forest. At times, we see plants full of fruits or vegetables and flowers. But sometimes they don't have these. You know why? Because different plants grow in different season. Some plants like apple tree, carrots, wheat grow in the winter season. You must have heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> why are you smiling, Anand? Teacher, I remembered a joke on apple. Can I share with the class? Sure, go ahead. One day, a boy comes to his mother and asks her, Is it true that an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Mother said, Yes, it's true. The boy says, Then please give me an apple quickly because I have broken the doctor's window by cricket ball. <laughs> nice joke. We know lion is the king of the jungle. Same way, there is a king of fruits too. Can you guess which fruit is the king of all? Let me give you some hint. It is a favorite of all the kids. It comes in summer season. All the children must have guessed it right by now. Yes, it is mango. Lots of summer holidays and lots of mango to eat. That's all that each child really wants. Let me ask you a riddle about mangoes. There are five mangoes in a basket and five kids eagerly waiting to get one. Each kid is given one mango, yet there is one mango in the basket in the end. How? Children, can you tell me this? Did one boy run away? Maybe his mother called him at the last minute? No, each one got one mango. Did one boy got the mango from another place? No, they don't get from any other place. What can we answer now? Okay, now I will tell you the correct answer. The last kid gets the basket with the mango in it. That was too simple, isn't it? So he was lucky to get the basket free with the mango. I think he must have waited patiently for the mango, so he got the basket along with the mango. Apart from mangoes, watermelon, pumpkin, rice all grow well in summer season. So we see that we don't get all fruits, vegetables and grains all the year around. This is because different plants have different requirement for water, heat, air and soil type. Some grow in warm weather and some grow in cold weather. Do you know why rice is eaten more in Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh? Or why wheat is eaten more in Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh? Or why Jawar roti, chapati is eaten mostly in Rajasthan? We see people in different places eat different types of grains. Generally, people eat more of what is easily available to them or grown locally. Due to the climatic condition and soil suitability, rice grows well in Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. Jawar crop grows well in Rajasthan. Wheat crop grows well in Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. This is the reason for people's choice of food or their food habits. It is largely based on local availability. So we have seen so many types of plants. Now do you know from where do most of the new plants come from? Mostly from seeds. Yes, the seeds which you think are useless and throw after eating a fruit are necessary. 
Do you know the grains like wheat, rice, maize, which we eat almost daily and are important part of our diet, are also seeds? Most of the seeds have a baby plant inside it, which finally grows into a new plant. Do you know which is our national tree? It's the banyan tree. This big tree also comes from a small seed.